Hello and welcome. Dave Maroney here on behalf of my beautiful wife, Joan, that is on retreat. And uh, we welcome you. We are the Mother of Mercy Messengers with the Divine Mercy for America prayer campaign. And uh, today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. And you've joined us for the Divine Mercy Adoration for our nation, Novena, and your nation also. Today, we're so excited. We have our good friends, although we've never met in person, our good friends from north of the American border up in Canada, Dennis and Angelina, and they are here to talk to us about the most amazing story, Our Lady of the Cape. So I'm just going to toss it over to, to you two right now and uh, take it from there. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. And it's great to be with all of you. Of course, we feel like we're all family, having been just together a couple of weeks ago on that amazing <laughs> Sunday. And then to be here all together again on the Feast of the Presentation is, is just remarkable. So thank you, Dave and Joan, for the invitation. We always, of course, really enjoy getting to share about Our Lady of the Cape. And her title is Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. So we know that um, the title of Our Lady of the Cape just really signifies the geography where she's from, which is Trois Rivières. And we're going to be able to play just a small clip from our docudrama, Bridge of Roses, today to give you a, a sense of who she is when she was donated. Um, but prior to that, I thought I'd give you a bit of background history, uh, just as it relates to Angelina and I, because I think it's quite fascinating. This particular statue that Angelina has right here, believe it or not, about 10 years ago, it is our, about our 10th year anniversary, somebody just told her that Mary wanted to visit her and she was given this 18 inch statue of Our Lady of the Cape. We had no idea who Our Lady of the Cape was at all. But through some beautiful answers to prayer, we began making pilgrimages to Canada's National Marian Shrine at Trois de Vieille. And then a number of years later, we end up finding out that I'm actually 12th generation to the founding family that built the chapel back in the 1600s, <laughs> which is really incredible. Oh so God. we have a sense that Our Lady wanted Angelina to know she was chosen because, of course, we were going to find out that I was a descendant many years later. And it's really a remarkable story. So we do have offices at Cap de la Madeleine, and we certainly have a visitor center, and we extend that invitation to everybody to come and visit us there. We would just love to welcome you. Now, the story of Our Lady of the Cape is actually quite consequential to this time. In 2017, we recorded this audio called Her Story, Your Story. And we're going to give Dave the little secret link so that you can listen to the audio for free at another time, because it's really the audio that we built the docudrama around. It gives you so much history. But in a nutshell, the story of Our Lady of the Cape, the reason why we called it Her Story, Your Story, is because Our Lady of the Cape is Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, is writing each one of us into her story in our day. It's a very unique story because it isn't an apparition story that happened way back when and we're kind of reflecting back to it on an ongoing basis and maybe learning from it. No, it's very different. Her story is all about uniting us in prayer, the prayer of the most holy rosary. And as a result of that, it's becoming a very dynamic work that's happening in our day all around the world, literally these days. But it started back in the 1500s when, when a French explorer, actually his name was Jacques Cartier, discovered the island and planted a cross, if you can imagine, on October 7th, 1535, which is fully 36 years before the Battle of Lepanto. So you can tell that Our Lady was already claiming this land on this very specific day in advance so that this Feast of the Most Holy Rosary would be that special. We run about another hundred years later and the Jesuits arrive. And one in particular that I want to reference is Father Jacques Bouteau. 
And Father Jacques Bouteau, although he's not one of the North American martyrs, was martyred in 1651. And it was Father Jacques Bouteau who actually founded uh, the settlement of Capital de Madeleine, where this beautiful shrine has developed. And he unfortunately was attacked by, uh, I guess, uh, the uh, the first some of the First Nations people at the time, and was was martyred and thrown in the river. This was subsequent to an amazing journey that he made a hundred a hundred miles upstream where he came across a village that was already filled with people who knew the rosary, who were pro praying the rosary for their for their past uh, loved ones. It was really remarkable. It's an incredible story. And again, that is articulated very nicely in the audiobook that you'll be able to listen to. So we fast forward to 1694 and the first resident pastor, uh, his name was Pastor Paul Vachon. He establishes the Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary in 1694. And then the second biggest thing that he basically uh, gave as a legacy to Captain Madeleine is the Stone Chapel. And this is the little clip that we want to play for you today. So I'm just going to share the screen and we're going to go to MDM TV where we have this clip queued up for you, everything as well, the Stone Chapel. So we'll play about three minutes of this, and this will give you a sense of who she is and how important the Stone Chapel is. Maybe I can get a thumbs up just to make sure the volume's working when you hear it going. One of the most important contributions that Pastor Paul Vachon makes at the Cape is the building of the Stone Chapel, the Stone Chapel that would eventually become the Shrine of the Holy Rosary. In 1714, Bishop St. Vallier commissioned the construction of a stone chapel to replace the wooden one built by Boucher some 50 years earlier. In an effort to link the past to the present, the contract specified that the beams from the original wooden structure were to be used in the new stone building. And interestingly enough, it is the oldest stone chapel in North America where daily mass is still said to this day. It took time and persistence on the part of Father Vachon and Bishop St. Vallier to finish the work the bishop had set on foot in 1714. The church was not finally completed until 1720, just nine years before the death of the pastor who built it and the beginning of the Cape's long period without a resident priest. When Pastor Paul Vachon died, the faith literally died with him. In fact, at one point, they even petitioned to ask if the sanctuary lamp could be extinguished. In 1854, despite a century without a pastor, the little parish of St. Marie Madeleine receives a gift that would mark a dramatic turning point in the history of the Cape. A parishioner by the name of Zephyrin Dorval donates a statue of the Blessed Mother fashioned after Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception as she appeared to Catherine Labore in Paris, more popularly known as the Miraculous Medal. And it's significant because it was actually 1854, which was the actual proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception by Pope Pius IX. It was sculpted by Carlo Catelli of the famous Catelli food family, a skilled sculptor of the 1800s. Little did he know how heaven would bless one of his most beautiful works. And it's a statue of Mary uh, with her hand opened, looking down. She's a pregnant and she's walking on a snake. So it's a traditional image of having victory over uh, evil. The statue would soon become the center of something miraculous. And miraculous indeed it is for Our Lady of the Cape. Our Lady of the Cape like our Blessed Mother, she just loves us so much. And for myself, I'm a convert to the Catholic Church. So I had no idea that you could have this intimate relationship 
with the mother of God, the mother of Jesus. I just had no idea. And I had asked her at one point too, we were running a Christian retreat. I said, if you're really alive, like, can you, if you're really real, can you reveal yourself to me? And she did. And she continues to do to this day in so many different ways, as with, I'm sure many of you, but I'm not going to assume that every single person here might have that intimate relationship with our blessed mother, or maybe there's a little bit of hesitancy, or maybe there's a little bit of I'm not sure, maybe you were growing up and maybe your relationship with your mother wasn't the best, or maybe you're like me, I was a Protestant before, you know, and you're gonna watch the show or see it and gonna be wondering like, what is this with our blessed mother? Well, St. Maximilian Kobe, a powerful saint, and he said, never be afraid of loving the blessed Virgin Mary too much. You can never love her more than Jesus did. Wow, I mean, that's powerful. That means that we have free reign to love her like crazy. And after becoming a Catholic and learning more and more about our Blessed Mother and just loving on her more and more and more and wanting to know her more and more, she just continued to bless us over and over and over again to where we are today and continue to go forward. Soon we're going to be visiting you in the USA with her, the Traveling Miraculous statue. And that particular statue too, a miraculous one that was here in 1947 when our country was consecrated, she was venerated so much that a toe of hers was even worn off. So she'll be coming to see you soon. But this statue that we have at Our Lady of the Cape Shrine, which we invite you to come to, she's the original miraculous statue that she opened up her eyes. And there was three people that saw that event happen. And who were they, babe? So it was uh, an invalid by the name of Pierre Lacroix, uh, Blessed Frederick, who we anticipate will be canonized in the next two or three years. So it would be Saint Frederick and also Pastor uh, Dissele, who was the pastor, the resident pastor who actually discovered a pig chewing on a rosary, if you can imagine, in 1867, which led to his vow to renew the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. And the other thing that he began to do was to begin to bless rose petals. This is amazing. We started doing the blessed rose petals again because we have a lot of the annals from the Cape magazines they wrote years ago. So many miracles have happened to people. And one of the things that he started, he reestablished was the blessing of the roses. And right in there, it talks about how many, there were so many prodigies. So we started doing it again. So when we travel, we encourage people to do the blessing of the roses. And we have it on our website, the prayer. People can download it, take your roses to your priest, get your blessed rose petals, distribute them to people. And a lot of times what we do is then we'll have somebody dry them up, put them in a little plastic baggie. They're a sacramental, so they either got to be burned or buried, but you want to make sure they're totally dried out because otherwise they might turn to mold, but they're still very powerful. And the prayer that is said with these blessed roses, rose petals is so powerful that even just one section of it, it says here, that signed by the Holy Cross, may they receive so powerful a blessing that in the houses and hospitals where they are taken, the sick may be healed. From the places where they are kept, may the powers of evil flee in fear and terror, nor may they presume again to disturb your servants. It's such an easy thing to do, and yet it's so powerful. Mother Mary is giving all kinds of favors. She's given us so many, she's given people so many, even a little child, when we were traveling, she even got a blessed rose petal. She asked for a lizard, a child. And the next day, a friend of her gives her a toy lizard. <laughs> it's just incredible. Another woman, she had did something with her arm, was going to have surgery. She put a blessed rose petal in her cast, didn't have to have surgery. So even something like this, roses, our blessed mother loves roses. Even something like that can be done and performed so easily. So as I mentioned off the top, her title is Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. In fact, when you visit the shrine, you'll notice emblazoned behind her those words in French. And they signify really why Our Lady of the Cape is being raised up in our day, this very day, and why her story truly is our story. So we take us back to 2017, and we asked the particular rector at the time if we could reestablish Enrollment in the Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. We're sure many of you are enrolled, but perhaps many who are listening on the recorded version are not. We really recommend that you visit Dave and Joan's site. They've got a link to the Shrine of Divine Mercy, where it's also established, which leads me to the point 
of once we established it, we realized very quickly we had people enrolling from all over the world. So it became very apparent that Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, did not want to keep this as a Canadian secret. No, it's <laughs> for the world. And it makes sense. Think about it. Jesus speaks in the Gospel of Mark, repent and believe the good news. Repent and believe the good news. The good news is the gospel. The rosary is the gospel on a string. So what happens is when you are enrolled in the confraternity and you are spreading devotion to the most holy rosary, you, without even knowing it, are spreading the gospel. You're doing exactly what Jesus told us to do right, at, right off the top of his ministry. Repent and believe the good news. So this is what's taking place. And we know at, um, at the time of when uh, St. Dominic was given the rosary, Our Lady said very clearly, I am going to save the world through the rosary and the scapular. So the rosary is the gospel that opens up hearts to repentance. But what does the scapular represent? It represents consecration to Jesus through Mary. Because it's one thing to repent and believe the good news. It's another thing for that word of God to just really germinate in your heart. And devotion to our Blessed Mother helps, helps really grow strong roots. So that's why, and it makes perfect sense, that at Fatima, you know, Jesus told Sister Lucia, I want you to promote devotion to the Immaculate Heart. So you see how they work. So as we are here with, of course, a Divine Mercy for America group, think about it. The rosary is the net that goes out to the world, that brings repentance and preaches the gospel. The scapular devotion to the Immaculate Heart is what really deepens things. Why? To be able to receive the message of mercy. And we know St. Faustina said, or Jesus said to St. Faustina, you will never exhaust, you know, the knowledge of my mercy. That is a lifetime pursuit. That is an eternal pursuit. So you can see how all these pieces fit. And interestingly enough, it's this little story of our little lady of the Cape in trois Rivières that is sparking this fire that is spreading throughout the world. So it begins with this. So now we're going to do something very special as we're hitting to the top of the hour. We're actually going to go to the Triumph Room at Our Lady of the Cape, where we have a number of first-class relics. And Angelina is going to lead us in a prayer before we enter our more formal time of prayer. And perhaps at the end of our prayer time, we'd like to, if it's okay with Dave, fill you in on how you can participate no matter where you are in the Fill the Ark movement as we bring Our Lady of the Cape to Lucas Oil Stadium, we want to bring your intentions. We're going to explain how that's going to take place at the end. But for now, let's go to the Triumph Room. For those of you who can come and visit us up at Our Lady of the Cape Shrine, we would love to welcome you there. We will be in your country for the month, most of July. However, we'll be there for most of June and then August and September and part of October. But we have what we call the Triumph Room, as my wonderful husband was talking about, with a lot of holy relics in here. And stories of these holy relics are absolutely fascinating. And one of them that we have uh, in there at the time that this was taken was that we have a holy relic, a first-class relic of Blessed Mother Marie Leone. She was just announced by our Holy Father that her canonization, she is, that's going to be happening. She's blessed now, and she's going to become a saint. And she had a miraculous healing at Our Lady of the Cape, from Our Lady of the Cape through her intercession. She was at her crowning, and she had sisters of her order that were there serving the priesthood. So that's incredible how now she is going to be going forward to become a saint in our lifetime. And she has such a connection and so much closeness to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, you heard also on the, the, the movie there that uh, Bishop Trombley talked about how she's pregnant. Our Lady of the Cape. So if you know of anybody who's wanting to get pregnant or has anything to do with pregnancy, definitely call upon Our Lady of the Cape. We have a miraculous grandson who ended up being born on the Feast of the Immaculate, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception through the intercession of Our Lady of the Cape. 
So now we'll just take a moment and we're just going to ask all of them to pray for all of your intentions as we just take a moment of silence and you just ask them, we're just going to just give them all your intentions. It's going to be so powerful. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Heavenly Father, we just come before you and we ask for the powerful intercession of Our Lady the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. And we ask for the intercessions of all the holy relics that are in the triumph room. We ask that they would pray for every single soul who is watching now, who will watch in the future, all of their intentions. And we ask that you would take them to Our Lady the Cape, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. And we ask this in Jesus' name as we take a moment of silence for you to bring your intentions to all of them. And we love you, Holy Family, as we honor you in this month of February. And we ask all of these prayers to you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, especially our Lady Cape, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, wonderful boy. Awesome, Dennis and Angelina. And ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you that every time I hear Dennis and Angelina talk, it's just, I'm just floored. They are so full of the Holy Spirit and uh, doing such good work and for the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. And again, uh, recommend that you you join that. And it's it's you know there's no dues or anything. You're just joining your prayers that you're already doing. You know what's the what's the minimum uh, requirement of uh, three rosaries a week? Is that right? I mean, uh, who of us here now does not do three rosaries a week? If you're not doing it, I recommend you do the rosary every day. So you're doing, you're already doing that. And so you're just joining your prayers with you know countless thousands uh across the globe across languages and everything the confraternity of course the rosary came to us through the dominicans and uh so they have the the uh the worldwide uh, uh structure or if you will or overlooking for the for the rosary and uh in the confraternity uh, traditionally has has been uh, you register through them but recently and Dennis you know you can you can check me out on this they uh they've opened it up and so now shrine different shrines around the world can uh can offer uh membership if you will if I've got the right uh, verbiage uh in the confraternity and Dennis and Angelina really have been uh instrumental and bringing that that uh, that project, if you will, uh, throughout the world, and now, as they mentioned, the the Shrine of Divine Mercy, the National Shrine for the USA, which is in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. You can sign up through there, and I, I put the link in the uh, the chat, and it will also be in the uh, the YouTube description, and so uh, so. You know, with all of that said, unless Dennis and Angelina, if you have anything to add, we'll uh, we'll just go to uh, go to prayer. And uh, as we're doing this, we will mention that this being the feast of the presentation, we'll be doing the uh, joyful mysteries of the Rosary when we get to the Rosary in the prayer. So this will take us to 
Uh, we'll be going to the Shrine of Divine Mercy in Vilnius, Lithuania, where the original painting of the Divine Mercy is on display. So we take a moment, we prepare our hearts to be in the presence of the Son of God. Of course, he said, wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is there with us. So he is He is with us in this meeting over Zoom. He's with you and with all of us in this meeting over Zoom, over Zoom, but he's with us in a special way in the Holy Eucharist that's on display for us here at the Shrine of the Divine Mercy. And uh, there we are. That's the live feed. And so we will begin... During this holy hour, we'll be doing the four novenas that Jesus, at different times in the diary, Jesus asked uh, St. Faustina to do a novena for her country, and we'll be doing those four novenas. One, he asked uh, St. Faustina to do a novena of Holy Communions, and uh, since we're here uh, uh, on the Zoom meeting, uh, we'll, we will do the spiritual communion to 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 uh, do that uh that novena so we pray in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and jesus we just profess our love for you we believe that you are present in the most holy eucharist we love you we praise the name of jesus above all names we bring all of the petitions in the hearts of those gathered here and we throw them upon the bonfire of your love as we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So we will begin the Most Holy Rosary, which was not one of the four novenas requested by Jesus, but we will do that uh, to begin our holy hour here and Dennis and Angelina will open us up as a reminder for the first to respond to the first decade. Effie will respond the second decade. Debbie will respond the third. Terry, uh, the fourth. Marie Loyacano. Oh, and then very special. I'm glad I did this because uh, uh, giving a nod to our northern neighbors from our U.S., perspective and the French uh, influence and presence there the fifth decade to to uh, today will be prayed in in French and Marie Claire will lead that and then Patricia will respond and so Dennis and Angelina when you're ready to begin the rosary in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we offer up this rosary for all of the intentions of the members of the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary, living and deceased. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, God, pray for us, pray for us sinners now, now and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever yes, shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. We pray for all future priests, now in the wombs of their mothers, that they may be safe from harm, and one day come to ordination as God wills. We pray that all priests like Mary may serve God with complete abandonment in the spirit of poverty, chastity, and obedience. And we especially ask you, Our Lady the Cape, to protect these babies in the womb. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who are trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. We pray especially for priests who bring holy communion to the sick and the shut-ins, and viaticum to the dying. We pray for priests who minister to the sick in other ways, by counseling, comforting, and consoling. May their example of consuming charity and humble service lead them to imitate union, to intimate union with Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third joyful mystery, Nativity of Jesus. We pray that the infant Jesus may inspire all seminarians to grow in knowledge and love of God and to become holy priests. We pray especially for those who will be ordained soon, that they may remain faithful all their lives to the sublime call and privilege of being other Christs among us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Lead us to... Uh, I'm oh sorry. Jesus, forgive yeah. us our sins. Lead us... <laughs> Go ahead. We're Save trying to adjust our volume, so we're having a problem here. Go ahead. Save, Save us, us from the depths of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery, presentation in the temple, especially for today. We thank God for all priests who, like Simeon, have given us decades of faithful service. We pray that they may be rewarded for their generosity and self-sacrifice. We pray also for all priests whose hearts are pierced by loneliness, rejection, or misunderstanding. Oh, Our Lady of the Cape, we love you and ask for your powerful intercession for all your priests who are in need throughout the world. Thank you for your yes. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to yes. heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery, finding Jesus in the temple. We pray that priests will always be found going about their father's business in fidelity to the teaching magisterium of the church, the Pope and all the bishops in communion with him. We pray that those priests who are experiencing a time of difficulty or even crises may be renewed in their vocation. Oh, Our Lady the Kate, protect your priests. Amen. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour. Pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous laisse pas entrer en tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nos pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nos pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. 
Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Gloire soit au Père et au Fils et au Saint-Esprit. Comme il était au commencement, maintenant et toujours, dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. Au mon Jésus, priez pour nos pécheurs. Livre de... Ô mon Allez, Jésus, pardonnez-nous nos péchés. Réservez-nous de l'enfer. Conduisez au ciel tous les âmes, spécialement ceux qui ont plus besoin de votre miséricorde. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To, the we, to, to thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. That was beautiful. Prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O oh blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation. And having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. And with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may live piously to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So now we turn to the great communion of saints as we pray the litany of the saints. This uh, was one of the four uh, novenas that Jesus asked St. Faustina to do for her country of Poland. So we pray this for our countries. You know, if uh, whatever country you are in all over the world. And 
Evan will be responding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Give me just a second, I need to adjust. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray. For us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint Philip. Pray for us. Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray. For us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. <laughs> Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. 
Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Clare. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanliness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of an earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save us, O Lord. 
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Please graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Thank you. <clears throat> now we pray the prayer of St. Gertrude the Great, and Wheezy will lead us in that. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Now we pray the chaplet of divine mercy. And if you happen to be new to this group, we do this each month from the first of the ninth. We have this online holy hour, and then it's posted on YouTube for those that uh, can join us uh, during this time of the day. Many pray along with it from YouTube. During these nine days of each month, we do the novena that Jesus asked St. Faustina to do to start on Good Friday and complete on the vigil of Divine Mercy Sunday. So we do this uh, each month, the Novena to the Divine Mercy. And so today we're on the second day, and it's uh, interesting to note perhaps that uh, Jesus said that he wanted her to bring groups of souls to his unfathomable mercy each day in this Novena. And she replied, as is written in the diary, she said, Jesus, uh, I do not know who to to bring. And he, he said, I will give you the, uh, the souls that I want brought to my mercy. And so that's the, uh, Jesus did give her these petitions for the souls. And so that's what we read. And what strikes me, I'll just mention while I'm speaking at this moment also, these petitions, you know, the diary of St. Faustina was written by, you know, St. Faustina had barely three years of schooling. And so there were many prayers that she wrote down that are just beautiful. And for me in particular, these petitions, uh, they came from her pen, you know, she pinned them, she wrote them and they're just beautiful. And so if you, you know, if there's any doubt that these words are from heaven, boy, this novena really for me is, is, uh, just brings me to the heart of Jesus. And so here we go with the chaplet of divine mercy. Helen will be reading the, uh, the novena petitions. The second day, today, bring to me the souls of priests and religious and immerse them in my unfathomable mercy. Most merciful Jesus, from whom comes all that is good, increase your mercy in men and women consecrated to your service, that they may perform worthy works of mercy and that all who see them may glorify the Father of mercy who is in heaven. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the company of chosen ones in your vineyard, upon the souls of priests and religious, and endow them with the strength of your blessing. 
spot. Um, for the love of the heart of your son, in which they are unfolded, impart to them your power and light, that they may be able to guide others in the way of salvation, and with one voice sing praise to your boundless mercy for ages without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the for our sins and the sins of, of those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy, holy god, god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. And eternal Father, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your most holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In, you. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And we conclude this holy hour together, this virtual holy hour, with a prayer from the diary of Sister Mary Ephraim that Our Lady, the prayer that Our Lady gave to Sister, it's a prayer to Our Lady of America, dictated by Our Lady of America. O oh, Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him, reign over us, O oh, Heavenly Lady. So, um, so pure and so bright, with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you, be our leader against the powers of evil set upon resting the world of souls, redeemed at such a great cost by the sufferings of your Son and of yourself in union with him from that same Savior who loves us with infinite charity. <sighs> we gather about you, O chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness the, that the world that would make all the world an abyss of evil without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart, O great queen, that the kingdom of your son, our redeemer, and our God may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet mother, for we believe in your great love for us and we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desire. Reign over us then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your Son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us so that we may be a glory to the blessed Trinity who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come, Holy Immaculate Mother, and as our victorious Queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom, where your Son reigns forever as King. Amen. Written at the behest of Our Lady, October 5th, 1956. Neil Lobster, Imprimatur, Cincinnati. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Christine. So we just take another moment in silence as we refocus our attention to Jesus living in the Holy Eucharist. We bring our petitions before you, Jesus.
Cantum ergo sacramentum, et teremur cernuvim, et antipum documentum, novo te dari chuvim, prastet fide supplementum, sensum defectu. Genitori, genito que, lauser iubilatio, salus ornor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abut roque, Comparsit laudatio. Amen. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We want to be with you, Jesus. We want you to be with us. Be with us, Jesus, your love and your mercy. <clears throat> Okay. Thank you, everyone. Beautiful holy hour, everyone. Awesome. And so to wrap up, we'll uh, turn it back over to Dennis and Angelina. What we do typically is, uh, you know, give you the floor, the speaker of the floor. If you have uh, anything you've thought of during the holy hour you want to add or anything like that and then uh, we usually open it up for questions you know from from the gallery so we'll start with you first thank you we mentioned at the top well just before we got into prayer that we would share with you this opportunity to travel with us with your prayer intentions and consecration so we're going to share the screen and this is the fill the ark movement so Our Lady of the Cape, the National Pilgrim Statue of Our Lady of the Cape, will be processed. Uh, Angelina and I will be hosting this statue from Trois-Rivières, Canada's National Marian Shrine, along what we call the route of St. Michael, the St. Michael Sword Pilgrimage Experience, which is a straight line of cities from, from St. Anne de Beaupre to London, Ontario. And then we'll be going across at Sarnia, going to Pontiac, Michigan, where there is a shrine there with a full-size replica of Our Lady of the Cape, if you can imagine. So if any of you are near there in Pontiac. And then we're going to be at Fort Wayne at the Shrine of the Immaculate Heart prior to Indianapolis. So this is very interesting. We discovered, Angelina mentioned, the Annals of the Cape. Those are documents that go back to the 1800s. And we discovered in an, a 1940s document that Pope Pius the, the 12th had indeed uh, consecrated all of mankind to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And subsequent to that, a number of pilgrim statues traveled throughout the world. And interestingly enough, Angelina alluded to the 1947 Marian Congress that was in our hometown here, Ottawa. Well, as it happened, the co-founder of the Blue Army was here, and he was so taken by this procession of Our Lady of the Cape she came on this big float. We'll just have the ark, the angels, and the statue in a trailer. So we won't have this big float. But nevertheless, he was so impressed with all of the manifestations of people giving consecrations and just how much it drew them to this Congress that he flew to Fatima. And that's how the Blue Army got their first statue of Our Lady of Fatima. Really remarkable. So both that statue and Our Lady of the Cape are being processed to Indianapolis. And in this ark, there are actually slots. So what we're going to do is we're opening it up to everybody to basically fill the ark. So if you go to this particular page on our website, and maybe Dave, you can put it in a link, 
just so that it'll be easy for people to go to. You can actually hang this up on your bulletin board. I don't know if, if, if you see this, if I put it up, probably you do, but it gives you just all the directions where you can sign your consecration, you can fill out your prayer intentions, and we've got an address on there so that you can mail them directly to us. And when you do that, we will bring them to uh, Captain Le Madeleine, and we will actually put them in this arc. Maybe if I squeeze, you'll see. See, they all go in this arc here, and there was literally thousands and thousands that we brought to the Papal Mass in 2022. So think of this, all of your prayer intentions and your consecrations being brought to Indianapolis, rising up as incense all through those five days. Just a remarkable opportunity. So we invite you to participate in that. Just go to this page. All of the information is there. Even if you might want to hold your own fill the ark event and run a screening of the movie and invite people. It's just a beautiful way to really spread the gospel, spread the confraternity, the most holy rosary. And of course, invite people to participate, whereas many people might not be able to participate. And Angelina, do you have anything that you would add to that? Just wanted to touch again on the confraternity. There's only three mysteries of the rosary required in one full week. That's only one joyful, one sorrowful, one glorious, and that is it. Anybody who's watching now or later, just in case if you did not pray, not pray in the rosary for whatever reason, or maybe you prayed it before, maybe this will encourage you to pick it up again. Because every time you pray your rosary after you join the confraternity, all the other prayers of the members throughout the world are praying for your intention. And then for all of us who have done those consecrations to Jesus through Mary, can you imagine all those people who are praying for your intentions, then you're giving everything back to our blessed mother because everything that we do goes to her. And then also you receive these incredible rosary confraternity benefits. Now, this is something that we also learned that Father Luc de Soleil, he studied the spiritual benefits of the confraternity. And here are some, the special protection of the mother of God, a share in the prayer of countless thousands of members of the world over. And this even after death, we now pray for the repose of soul, my father-in-law, because even at the age in his seventies, he came back to the church and joined the confraternity. Now that he's passed away, he gets to get, he gets to make the use of all these incredible prayers. A share in the prayers, masses, and apostolic works of the entire Dominican order, the intercession of the entire heavenly court. That's really quite something to put our minds around, very similar to a prom one of the promises of the Holy Rosary. Various plenary and partial indulgences. You receive all of this for just those three mysteries a week, not under pain of sin, but of course, we encourage people to pray the rosary every day and even more than one rosary if you can. But that is just the minimum, three mysteries a week. So we encourage this also for any, ch any children at the um, confirmation age of the age seven and up can also join. And we do have uh, on our particular website, we do have certificates for children with Our Lady of the Cave and BB the Blue Butterfly. And interestingly enough, just before we came on, believe it or not, we had somebody from Arviat just enroll in the confraternity. I'm gonna zoom out so that you can kind of get a sense of how far up north that is. So there's somebody representing their place. Oh, wow, this is the first time I've done this. It's it's really up there, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it's Hudson Bay. So as we zoom out, you'll get an idea though of how there is just so many people in the confraternity, the Most Holy Rosary. And now this is, this is just, the the confraternity at Cap de la Madeleine, as Dave alluded to, as we spoke about, there's other shrines now that that actually have the the confraternity established. So it's just a beautiful way to be united in prayer. And we also mentioned at the top that if you want to come visit us at Our Lady of the Cape, the pilgrimage spot where we have a visitor center, you go to OurLadyOfTheCape.com. And all of the information is there. Hotel Regina's, which is our particular place that this will give you an idea of what it looks like. So you'll see usually the National Pilgrim statue is installed here. This is who we'll be bringing to Indianapolis. And we have all kinds of archival photos. And then just down this hallway is where the Triumph Room is. So you can come and venerate all of these relics. So just a remarkable uh, opportunity and again the map grounds are even here 
So what's nice is there's just so much space. There's there's the way of the cross along the water. There's the uh, whole rosary, all 20 mysteries. You can also uh, say them as well. This is the big basilica. This is where we are in the service center. And then the historic stone chapel is right here. This is ground zero for the confraternity of the most holy rosary. It's just a magnificent place. And I'll tell you, when you're sitting on a bench here, looking over the river, you just marvel at the faith of these folks in March that would have walked across the miracle of the ice bridge with stones to build a bigger church. It just really is quite amazing. And on the same page where you saw the triumph room, if you ever want to just come online, you can pray with the relics of the saints, just pop into the triumph room and give your intentions to them all. We've got information there about the names of the, of the, of the holy relics. And that can also be a wonderful experience as well. And that's through mdmtv.org. You can go there and watch MDMTV. And that's where you can pray with the saints. And all the lists, as Angelina said, are there. Chances are one of your favorite saints is most likely there. <laughs> and with that, we can certainly open it up to questions. Not that wow. I have a question, but we're talking about pray. So I didn't mean to, to put it. And I know some of this group have already joined our Zoom meeting that we pray five nights a week. <laughs> we're talking about the rosary. So if Dave or Dennis and Angelina don't mind, I can post a link in the Zoom box. If it's objection, I'm okay with that too. No, that's great. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, I want to talk about a couple of things before we open it up. And one, I'm I'm here at mdmtv.org, and that stands for Marian Devotional Movement TV.org. Okay, I'll put that link right there in the chat. Boy, and am I am I wrong? Dennis and Angelina have so much going on; it's crazy. Okay, so uh, to get to the uh, the live stream from the chapel, where do I go? You probably watch, said it, but I might have been distracted. Watch TV. Watch. You just okay. watch right there, and that takes you right to the triumph room. And it Great. comes in a bit blurry, but it'll clear up after it'll clear. About twenty seconds or so. It gets quite clear. Yeah. Is is the uh, the trailer for Bridge of Roses on here on the the mdmtv.org site? Yes. When when somebody is just coming on, you you've signed up, which is great, uh, Dave. I can tell that from your <laughs> sign in page. So that means you have access to all the different seasons and content. So when somebody clicks on uh, browse, it'll bring up all of the different uh, number of seasons and content. If you click on triple A pass, this will give you all of, and then you'll see Rosary Confraternity Movie. So once you are a subscriber of MDM TV, you have access to the movie in all of these different languages, again, to be able to, uh, to obviously show it, a lot of people have movie nights where a lot of people over for supper, that kind of thing. But if you do the drop down box for Rosary Confraternity movie right beside there, you'll see each one of those particular, those are all seasons with different videos, different uh, uh, downloads and eBooks, all kinds of things. So this is just, um, yeah, something that we launched last March. And it's just a beautiful way to have all of the content in one place. Can we show stuff? Can we show the uh, the trailer for the movie? Okay, where is that trailer? Because top left. oh, top left says trailer. Perfect. Oh, okay, I think and I need to stop the share and then go back because I did not share with sound. with the, uh, audio. So let me do that. Share sound. Sure. Optimize for video and. I'll go back and then here. Keep in mind, this we movie, filmed this through COVID, which is amazing. The, you, the, I highly recommend this movie. And I, I put a link in the uh, in the chat box that goes through uh, divinemercyforamerica.org. 
And so that you help support uh, Divine Mercy for America and the Marian uh, devotional movement. And it's nine dollars for the movie and all of the content that that uh, Dennis was just laying out. And so uh, the the trailer is uh, minute thirty six. Let's give it a watch. It's just, I get chills. And uh, so here's the, uh, through Divine Mercy for America, here's, uh, and you click on buy all for $9. And since I've already purchased, uh, and here, when you get to here, you'll need to uh, sign up for a Vimeo account. And Vimeo is simply a, a video hosting service similar but different than youtube but it's uh, so you, you you create your vimeo account and then proceed and uh and purchase for nine dollars and you get all of that content and that you simply must watch the movie it's just incredible uh they uh you know uh it's just it's awesome 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 so bridge of roses Okay. Okay. I got to, I got to catch my breath here because it's just something else. And, uh, and now let's open up if we, uh, if we will for a short time, you know, uh, to, uh, to take, uh, questions or comments from the gallery. Gary Bellinger. Did I say that correct? Oh, your microphone. You need to turn your microphone on Gary. It was at the Cape. For the opening of the movie and i also have uh, the the movie here at home it's a fabulous movie i traveled for 15 hours from where i live to go to the opening i stopped in ottawa the movie is fabulous i enjoyed it i enjoyed the opening i recommend it 100 percent to anyone to watch it i can get goosebumps right now talking about it just want to put that plug in i it was a beautiful movie. I agree. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Yes. Yes. It really is anointed. Thank you. And Peter Lepre. Thank you, David. Uh, Dennis and Angelina, thank you very much for uh, presenting our Blessed Mother uh, as Our Lady of the Cape and, and all the work that you guys do. And also, thank you for connecting me with the Holy Face Ministry in uh, in uh, Ontario. And I gave the information to Don, and he's going to follow up on that. He's already has connections in Canada, but he wasn't aware of the one that you gave me. So thank you so very much. And I had sent you a, an email last week asking you about Marty Rotella, if you knew of Marty. He's great friends with Dave and Joan. And 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 Don, the, he did a chaplet to the Holy Face about eight, six or eight years ago. 
And I just want to know if you knew of him. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Peter. So no, we, we haven't had the pleasure of knowing him. Sorry, I didn't get back to you on that. Um, we're just heading, we're going to Tulsa next week. So we're tying up lots of loose ends. And some of that is is uh, not getting to all our emails maybe as quickly as we would usually. So sorry, Peter, but I know we, we're not familiar with them. I, I will send you a link to uh, to Marty's uh, Apostle Paul Spirit Power. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, look. Lori, is it? We'll get to uh, Lorena next. And but Lori asked real quick: Is it a hard copy DVD of Bridge of Roses? Yeah, it's amazing that you say that because you know in this day and age of streaming, we decided to get DVDs, but we really didn't know if they do very well because everybody's streaming. But we are we have been shocked at how many, literally thousands of DVDs have been purchased. You can get them at EWTN. You can get them through our website as well. Uh, so, so either place and we can ship them to you. We ship them um, at a different level, pricing levels, depending because some people might want to get a, a box and you know give them out at church or whatever as a, a promo type thing. So it's less. We have a buy three, get one free. They make great gifts. They're not big. They look like, uh, I should have one right here, but I don't, do I? Uh, maybe I do. Yes. They look like this. They're just, we made them this size as opposed to the DVD size. So they'd be easy to mail. And that's turned out to be a, a smart idea. And uh, English, French, and Spanish, one with Spanish subtitles on it. And it also includes, which is very important, the nine minute video that Angelina narrated about the National Pilgrim Statue of Our Lady of the Cape. So that's something that also is on this video. Awesome. And so, you know, for those in the U.S., uh, EWTN might might be good because you wouldn't pay international shipping. Is that right? But then you have so yeah. many diff different websites. What website do you go to uh, to order the DV DVD? Yeah, from just the, the regular one, the, the regular visitationproject.org site. Visitationproject.org. I'll put yeah. that in Thank uh, you. also. For DVDs. Yeah. And then Christine has her hand up. Yes, I do. About 35 years ago, I got those roses and the prayer, which I can't even read anymore. And I was thinking it came from uh, St. Um, oh, for Hopeless Cases, uh, Rita. And so St. Rita has a devotion where they're blessing the roses. But I we, I really was searching and searching and searching. And here you are. I'm so totally amazed. I need to, I want to find that prayer so I can read it again. <laughs> I still have some of those roses. It's, it's so incredible. I, I, you know, I'm just so amazed at how the Blessed Mother has answered almost every single prayer I've ever asked. Oh. I'm really, really totally um, awed, I guess, awed by that. Yes. Awesome. So thank you. God. Thank you very much. <laughs> God is good. I can't, I can't thank you enough. I, it's just so amazing. You can download the prayer on, on our website. There's a section on Bless Roses with the download of the prayer. Just put, Thank in, you. put in the search search button, search area there, Bless Roses, and it'll tell you how, how to make them and, and all of that. Yeah, my daughter and I, we've been saving rose petals since I can't remember how long since she was a baby. You know, I mean, and I have another daughter, too, that St. Therese of the Child Jesus. And everything has to do with roses, everything. My mother had a beautiful rose garden. It was just everything. And when we went up to um, Jamaica, Vermont, there's an imitation of um, Our Lady there of the... Um, of her her home in uh turkey um or what's her name and when we went up there it was in the middle of a snowstorm and outside that house that little house it was one rose in full bloom it was just so amazing in november 
it was we were just we it's just awesome how how sacred and blessed roses can be really is your last name bridges well it's an aka actually my my maiden name is christine chanowski c-z-e-r-n-a-w-s-k-i i was married to albert penn and then um fell away and got married to someone named Bridges, but I keep that for my my daughter's sake. Yes. Yeah, because our lady's using you as a bridge right now to bring up <laughs> the blessed rose petals. Well that's one reason I yeah. keep that name. Yes. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a pen name, no. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> we 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 can't impart to all of you enough you know, this idea of bringing this prayer to your priest and having him bless roses and giving out the petals. We ha have been absolutely shocked by the response to rose petals. And this is how you begin to build your genealogy of grace, because you never know how this rose petal is going to lead somebody either to being healed or maybe to the message of the gospel through the rosary. Case in point, if you can imagine, Angelina and I were at Captain de Madeleine during pilgrimage season. We came across this family that was near the shrine and we said, why are you here? Someone gave us a rose petal. <laughs> I'm serious. Someone gave us a rose petal. And one of the first recorded miracles going back to the 1800s was from Michigan, all the way from Michigan, uh, absolute healing. So, so we can't recommend the proliferation of the rose petals enough. We, we, we do it everywhere. Everywhere we go with the, with the statue of Our Lady, the Cape, consecration, blessing of the roses, and people just love to take these rose petals. You know, they put them in the in the nice bags, as Angelina said, and they keep them with them. And it's really, really remarkable and, and incredible testimonies from them in our day. So and that prayer has an imprimatur. Well, it's a Dominican prayer that has been going on for hundreds of years. This is mm -hmm. the Dominican form of prayer for blessing of the roses. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing prayer. It and is. That, it's remarkable. Um, I know our parish priest will bless them because he has already blessed. Everybody came to him with the grapes to bless the grapes. Did you ever hear about that? The yes. blessing of the grapes? Yeah, we have blessed grapes. <laughs> yeah. So he, he was like, everybody was bringing him grapes in the, and in jars. You know? <laughs> so I know he will, he will bless these roses as well. That's great. Thank you. Speaking of rose petals, I have a, a plaque that my brother and sister-in-law bought me, and it has a rose petal from Gethsemane, the Garden of Gethsemane. So, I mean, I'm, I know it's kind of off the subject, but speaking of rose petals, I mean, it's just amazing. It's just... Mm. God is good. My, my daughter actually made her a, a rosary out of roses. Nice. Does it still smell like roses? It. You know what? God love Rita. She died in the Feast of St. Anne a couple of years ago. And um, her daughter, ironically, goes to an evangelical church. She doesn't go to the Catholic church. But I, unfortunately, I've never seen the rosary, but I must ask Joanne someday to actually see it. But there's a real uh, method to it. You have to boil them and whatever. But it's, yeah. I also wanted to mention that um, the MDM has these prayer cards um, that you can get on MDM, uh, the right. MDM web store from visitationproject.org. Um, and they're sacramental prayer cards. So they have a little piece of blessed rose petal on the back of them. And they have a, a blue cloth, which is touched um, many of those relics that you saw in the relic, uh, the triumph room um, that they have at Captain Madeleine. So you can get these on the, um, the MBM web store um, and they are sacramental, so they can't be sold. So um, you can get them for donation. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, we go to, just so people can see, we go to shop. We're at visitationproject.org. In case you're listening and not watching, visitationproject.org. We go to the shop. 
and uh, prayer cards, yeah, right? Prayer. And which one? Oh, is that over there? Um, with Our Lady, um, on the this one, uh, on the top. Um, yeah, the uh, one that says zero zero. You you had it, Dave. Okay, the first. I just didn't want to interrupt, but you you had it right here. Here. Yes. Oh, it's a sacramental. Okay, so. Yes. Well, I mean, we're speaking about that. We might as well, <laughs> if you want to talk about store, um, this is something that's incredibly unique, and it's the official confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. Rosary, and this particular rosary has has a locket with um, with all of the relics in the locket itself as well, plus a medal of Our Lady of the Cape. And this is probably, oh yeah, there you are. So the official confraternity rosary and the description of all of that is is there. So you can see with the with it opened. And this is what Angelina and I were praying with today as we prayed with you as our official confraternity rosaries. So many, I touched so many holy relics. You can open it up when you see these different feast days. You can pray for their prayer intentions on that day. There's a St. Michael stone in there. There's cloth that has um, Our Lady of Lords. I think Our Lady of La Salette water that was on it. Uh, many different types to make it just be a beautiful, beautiful sacramental. And there's yeah. a blessed rose, piece of blessed rose petal in there too. Yes, there right? is. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. 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 Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, gosh, we really should, should wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't want to go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Any last questions yeah. before we wrap Anybody it up? I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> uh, Evan has his hand up. Hey, Evan. We don't want to go. Hey. We don't want to be <laughs> staying another hour or two. I, I do have something to, sh to share. Um, whenever I pray Mary's Rosary, I smell her presence. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow. That's a grace. Yes. And I, actually, I, I was thinking of, I, I don't have my own rose petal, um, but I do you, have you the rosary on. that is, you know, mm -hmm. our, our roses. I don't have a rose petal, um, you know. I'm very devoted to Mary, and I'm and I'm also devoted to Our Lady of Lords. Awesome. Yes. Evan's a real really, prayer warrior. I really, and I really want a rose petal you and a holy image of Mary. <laughs> You can certainly have a rose petal. You just get a hold of us, Evan, and we will mail you a rose petal. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And also that holy image, that prayer card. Oh, yeah. So get a prayer card, too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But well, actually, I do have relatives in Canada as well. And I do have relatives, I do have relatives that are from Canada here in the USA. <laughs> so. All right. Wonderful. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Gosh, everybody. Dennis and Angelina, thank you so much. Man. Awesome. Thank you so awesome. Much awesome. For having yes. Us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All righty. It's really good to be together. And we hope to see some of you as we make our way to the US at the Congress or you know en route. Yes. If mm -hmm. anybody can make it, that'd be great. Oh, actually, um, do uh, are, are you guys ever come to Sterling, Massachusetts? No, um, not this time. That's not where that's oh, not okay. the route. No. Oh, okay. Through Someone, Michigan. Deborah's asking for a phone number, Dennis and oh, Angelina. Yes, yeah. yeah, certainly, certainly. So one triple eight. I'll just put it in the chat box. Put it in the oh chat great, box. yeah. If you're on a phone, it's one triple eight five zero one ten eighty three. So one eight eight five zero one one zero eight three and it's toll free. 
And we'll put that in the uh, the description in the YouTube. So I know you all y'all be traveling, y'all be is, traveling. But is there any any kind of whatever to get this group together again down the road? And you're talking about the two groups, like what we did. Uh, we on did Sunday? it. <laughs> like yeah, like yeah, even like, today, abso like abs absolutely oops. because yeah yes we great, will but... do this again for sure because obviously God is doing something incredibly special in our collective. <laughs> And we need to do it again for sure. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. There's a question about what is. Say again the last four now, or say the say the phone number again, please. Sure. So one eight 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 five zero one ten eighty three one zero eight three. Perfect. Good. Yeah. And as you might have guessed, it's not as if we have staff, so that's coming to us. So if we don't answer or get back to you right away. <laughs> Please just bear with us, but we certainly do try to stay on top of things as best we can. And if there's any of you that want to pray, uh, you know, with the MDM, even during the week, sometimes if it's not available on Divine Mercy, that we uh, that we do have a group that comes together on Tuesdays and Fridays, and it's a Zoom. Ooh. They Zoom together. They, they pray the Rosary, the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Lorena, who's on with us here, she heads that up with uh, our with randy and then we usually join on sundays we have a sunday a confraternity sunday all starts at 2 30 p.m and then it just goes for about an hour hour and a half or so and then they actually have a time afterwards too where a group of people anybody can stay on and you pray for each other you can if anybody feels comfortable speaking out loud praying out loud they're they're praying for each other so it's a personal time too you join once in a while, you know, or on an ongoing basis, or if you know of anybody else who needs that prayer support at those particular times, Tuesday, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 2.30 p.m. Awesome. Beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful. All right, beautiful family. Speaking of beautiful. <laughs> All right. Dave, How do you close up? off, Dave? Pardon? How do you close off? We just say Dave and Joan. Well, I'll just say Dave signing off for now. So you do, and okay. that's it. Dave, before you sign off, can we get the link for the other rosary? Sure. ID or somehow. Uh... It, it's not hard. You just go to visitationproject.org and you will see right on that page a picture of it. So just click on it. It's not hard to find. And that's the, the Zoom ID and the password are under. Oh, so sorry, really you're really talking really about email. the Zoom meetings. Yeah. The Zoom right. meetings. Okay, the best thing to do yeah. is is certainly uh, just join our mailing list and you have a choice of a daily or a weekly email. And on our email, we basically have one, one verse from True Devotion to Mary in a bite-sized mm -hmm. catechism quote. So very, very, very useful to for every day. And then we have all our Zoom links. Dave and Joan and ourselves, you'll notice that it's almost like a franchise. It's, you know, <laughs> really, it's just so similar because, of course, we all started together with the Triumph Tour and it all just mushroomed and blossomed from there. And it's just really incredible what has taken place. Oh, Dennis Larry, what I can do, actually, Larry's on one of our prayer groups as well. What I can do, Larry, is uh, forward you the email. If that's okay with you, Dennis, forward sure. him the email. And then it's right down there to subscribe and all of that. So. Sure. Sure. Okay, yeah, if you do that, we will we'll be three so, organizations together then. Yeah, so so what's, I had your email. Well, Dave I'm... and Joan and Mary Claire <laughs> and Dennis. I'm, and we'll figure so, out a thing here where you'll all be together in a I'm form sorry. your own version of VWTN. I'm sorry to be dense, but where do you, where do you sign up for that? I'm at visitationproject.org. Yeah, it'll be a pop-up. It pops up oh, after okay. about 10, 15 seconds, and you just can sign and okay. you can pick weekly oh, or, or, or daily. It's not popping up because I've already been on it and, and yeah, X out of it. So, yeah. yeah, great, great. And you can certainly call us if you know, yeah. call us if you have any questions. Got okay. the phone number. Cool. Yeah. Between everybody here, nobody should have a problem getting oh. the info, right? <laughs> One way or the other. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Beautiful family. We've got to, right. we've got to shut it down. So okay, thank give you. Love to Joan. Yeah, I'm thanks, sure everybody. will. God, Bye, bless. God bless you, God bless you all. Bye. God bless. God bless. Bye. God bless. Bye. God bless. Bye. God bless. Bye.
Si Isam Hirna ay. Oh, 